gRPC is an open source and high performance remote processor call framework that can run in any environment. It enables client and server application to communicate transparently and simplifies the building of connected systems. It is RPC based and uses HTTP2 protocol for communication. RPC stands for Remote Processor Call and is a method of inter-process communication used by software application to communicate over the network. Being RPC based, client can call any service method of the gRPC API, whether it's running on the local machine or the remote server. gRPC uses a contract first approach to API development. Services and messages are defined in the .proto files. I will show proto files in the later of this video. gRPC uses protocol buffer to serialize data between client and servers. It's where you basically store your data and functions contract in the form of proto file. Let's see the types of gRPC quickly. So there are four types of uh, uh, gRPC. First one is the unary. In this case, the client sends a request message to the server and receives a response. Second one is the server streaming. In this, the client sends a request message to the server and receives a multiple responses. In the client streaming, Client sends a request of message and receives a single response from the server. Last one is the bi-directional streaming. In this case, the client and the server exchange multiple messages in both the direction. So in this video, we will see the example of the unary, which is the basic one or the basic type of the GS, uh, gRPC. Alright, so I am using the Visual Studio code to uh, create the gRPC server and gRPC client in .NET Core. So uh, let's open the terminal and then uh, uh, create the gRPC server first. So the command is .NET uh, new and I'm using the gRPC inbuilt template which uh, is provided by the .NET core and I'm giving the name gRPC server. So okay so the project has been created successfully. Uh, let's build this project the command is dot net build okay so it's showing build to succeed so we can proceed further so let's see like uh, what we I mean this project uh, created uh, so first of all like uh, uh, you know we can see that it created the uh, grid dot proto file under the protos and if we see like uh, it created uh, the I mean, uh, showing the syntax and then the namespace package service definition which return the uh, remote processor call and there are two uh, messages request and the response messages and in the service uh, if we you know go to the service file and uh, uh, we can see that uh, this class inherit uh, uh, from the greater dot greater dot base there is one method override method the name is say hello and it uh, take the request from the hello request and return the response after appending the hello so uh, this is the uh, you know file of the grpc server it you know create some uh, uh, auto generated file if I go to the opg and debug folder and under that there are two auto generated files so we don't need to do anything uh, with these uh, two files now let's create the grpc client okay I'm going to open the new terminal and then create the grpc client so the command is dot net new and I'm using the console template and giving the gRPC client okay so this uh, project has been created let's select this folder so before building this project uh, I need to add the uh, three packages which is mandatory for this project to run this uh, gRPC uh, client so let's you know add these uh, packages the first one is the 
grpc.net client now let's add the uh, second one that is the google dot protobuf okay now i'll add the last one grpc dot tools Okay, so all three packages have been added successfully in the grpc client so uh, after this uh, you know after adding the packages we have to add the proto file uh, the same proto file which we have in the grpc server so let's copy this folder so it's a basically a contract which we need to uh, have this uh, uh, file in the grpc client as well so let's copy it from the grpc server and put it into the grpc client okay so it's done and the th third step is like we need to add manually one line so if i go to the grpc uh, server proj file you can see that uh, there is one you know uh, line which include the protos dot uh, protos uh, grid dot proto file so let's copy these three lines from here and uh, go to the grpc client proj file and put it over here so this is the client so let's uh, replace uh, this one okay now build this project great so we did not receive any error now uh, we have to write a few lines to call the grpc server method from the grpc client so let's go to this uh, uh, program.cs file from in the grpc client so let's add it uh, let's first add the package uh, copy it from here and okay so we have to add two mo two i mean uh, name space using and uh, so grpc service and the grpc dot net client and you add the grpc service as well great so now we have to get one async method first like we have to give the uh, target the url like uh, which we call from uh, grpc client to grpc service okay so this is the uh, okay so let me run the grpc uh, server or services server service so that we can have the url the command is dot net run okay so here is the url let's copy this one https localhost 5001 so this is the port so our server service is running on this uh, url so let's put it uh, in the grpc client and then create the channel 
PC GRPC channel address and give the target variable and now it's time to create the client new greeter dot greeter client and give the channel now we have to create one variable to receive the reply this is the async so we have to use the await client dot give the method name hello async new give the parameter hello request give the name so I am giving the grpc client calling done and uh, now write the response reply dot message and then console dot read key okay so now let's build this uh, uh, grpc client project Okay, so it's giving the error the type of GS GRPC service could not be found. PC service okay. It should be GRPC server. let's try to build it again okay great so this project builds su built successfully now run this uh, .NET uh, grpc client .NET uh, build oh sorry .NET run great so uh, we got the response we can see that uh, hello grpc client calling so service is you know server service is uh, uh, you know replied appended the hello and then revert the reply hello grpc client calling so that is all for this uh, uh, demo i hope you got some idea of the uh, grpc so thank you so much Please like and subscribe my video. Thank you.